Hey everyone, welcome to my library. My name is Melissa and I have just a fun book haul to show you guys. Um, so I'm bringing on all the cozy vibes right now. Um, I hope you guys really enjoy this haul. I have a ton of vintage and classic books to show you guys as well as some historical romances. Um, I went book shopping this past weekend, uh, and if you've been on my Instagram, you know probably, but um, it was seriously, it was such a time. It was so fun. The two bookstores I went to were two of the most beautiful bookstores I've ever been to. One of them is a childhood bookstore of mine that I've been to many times, and I love with my whole heart. And the other one was a new to me bookstore and carried a ton of vintage books, um, and they were like cheap, like I was in shock. So I'm so, so, so excited to show you guys the books. And um, I'll put a timestamp for the romance readers who just wanna see my historical romances and aren't interested in my classics or um, family sagas. And that's fine, I get it, I totally get it. Um, so let's get started. You guys, <laughs> I'm so excited about these first two books. And if you exit out of the video early, I hope that you at least see these two because, oh my gosh. So um, the first book is, look at this. Oh, the glare, the glare. Let's see if I can like, so this is Anne of the Island. Um, this is one of the Anne of Green Gables books. This is a vintage book from the 1950s. Look at this cover. Like I literally, when I saw this book, I my breath was taken because it's got Anne and it's got Gilbert, and of course, when I saw that Gilbert was in the picture too, I was like, yep, gotta buy it. Um, but yeah, it's such a 50s vibe. It's so cool. And guess how much I paid for this, guys? Guess how much? I mean, this is the store that I went to. $15. That's it. That's it for this so well-kept-up book. I'm so excited. And look at the back. I'm so sorry, the glare is so bad. But yeah, the back. And I just, I'm just dead. I'm seriously, it's so beautiful. Look at how gorgeous. To all the girls all over the world who have wanted more about Anne. Oh, yeah, I'm dying. I'll show you guys the second book. It's in the same series, same printing. And this is Anne's House of Dreams. It also has Gilbert in it. <laughs> And yeah, this is also printed in the 1950s and it's such a 50s vibe as well. I love it and I love that she's pointing to the cape where they're gonna build their house and I love it. I love it so much. And yeah, same back and everything, but they keep them in this plastic covering. It's not a library cover or anything, but they keep them in this plastic covering to you know keep up the condition and that's why it's in such good condition. But yeah, this was also $15. And I'm, I, I'm blown away. I'm so excited. And look at this. I think this is honestly like one of the most fun things about this book is like it, it comes from, from the library of Bettina Shaw. And it's got this little like book plate in it. And I just love that. I love that so much. So yeah, these two books I was seriously the most excited to show you guys because I, I literally died. <laughs> I was so excited when I found them. So yeah, okay, done with uh, just gushing about those, we can move on. The next vintage book that I found at this store is amazing. So it's Little Men by Louisa May Alcott. Hi, Lily. Hi. Guys, I don't think Lily has made much of an appearance on my channel yet, but this is her. She's my older dog. Um, I mean, she's not old, but yeah, she, she's our OG. <laughs> she's so cute and so nice, huh? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna film a video now, okay? Okay, sit. Oh, good girl. Okay. So yeah, so this is um, Little Men by Louisa May Alcott. And this was printed in the 20s, I believe. So um, it comes out, okay, Lily. Lily, okay, okay, sit, sit, stay. So this is it, oh my gosh, it's it's seriously so beautiful. 
I haven't read this book. I, I read Little Women this year as well and loved it. Actually, no, I read it last year in in preparation for the big movie that came out, I think around Christmas time. So good, by the way. But yeah, so Little Men. And then the thing that sold me on this book was, guys, look at the end pages. So gorgeous. I seriously love it. Like the light coming through and um, Plumfield, all the little boys. Wow. Even Lily loves it too, huh? <laughs> and then, um, so yes, it's illustrated. And so it's got color pages. Like, look at that. So yeah, let's see when this was printed. Okay, not 20s, I'm sorry. 1947, but still, 1947, and it's in this good condition. And then, um, let me show you guys. So I think every chapter starts with a new illustration. And then I found a, a color, another color at the end, which just, just gorgeous, seriously. So yeah, I'm so excited. I'm definitely gonna read this book in this, like I'm gonna read the book with this version <laughs> because I just, I fell in love and I'm so excited about it. 1947, Little Men, amazing. <laughs> um, so the second book I found is this book, this giant book. <laughs> I've actually been looking at this book at Barnes and Noble. And so when I saw this book um, at my used bookstore in, in my childhood bookstore, I was so excited. So um, this is Kristen Lov Lovren's daughter. I'm so sorry. So this is translated, um, but this won the Nobel Prize. And um, it's a story following this woman, and I believe it's in Norway. Yeah, it's following Kristen in Norway, and um, it's in the 14th century, and it just follows her life and her love for a certain man named Erland, I believe. And um, anyways, the, two, the political influence and the undercurrents of the period, and it's just her life story, and it sounded right up my alley. Um, I was originally eyeing the drop caps version of the first book in this series, I guess. I think there's three books in it, but the first book, I'll show it here, is so beautiful in the drop caps edition. It's purple and it's purple edged and it's just beautiful and it's for the letter U. If you guys know what that series is all about, it's basically they choose one author for every letter in the alphabet, their last name, and they show them that that's the only book that's for that letter. It's pretty cool. So um, like for E, you know, it's Jane Eyre or no, maybe it's, no, 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 it's not Jane, I'm, st it's not Jane Eyre. <laughs> it's George Eliot, Middlemarch. And then um, for you, it's this book for Sigrid Unset, I guess is how you say her last name. But yeah, giant book, but I'm actually very eager and interested in it. So yes, there's that one. So I found this. <sighs> It's called Mrs. Mike, and it's by Benedict and Nancy Friedman, the heartwarming classic story of the Boston girl who married a rugged Canadian Mountie. Not gonna lie, like this whole vibe, this whole vintage vibe, it just got me. So it says, Mrs. Mike is the love story of Catherine O'Fallon, a young Irish girl from Boston, and Sergeant Mike Flanagan of the Canadian Mounted Police. So yeah, it's a love story, and yeah, I mean, I'm so excited about this. I actually really want to read this in the winter, so maybe December, um, just to get those snowy winter vibes. Okay, so is my, maybe my camera's too close. Maybe I need to scoot back a little bit, just so you guys, yeah, that looks better. Okay, so um, the second book is Song of Years. So this is also kind of that same, like, love story classic vibes um so this is a prairie love story and it's about a girl named let's see suzanne and a boy named wayne their love story their lives as first settlers on the prairie the treachery of enemies the harshness and heartbreak of the civil war and the destiny they shared together on the new land that meant so much to them so when i read that i loved it i also am a killer like i will i love yellow sprayed edges. So 
that also intrigued me. And anything about a love story, and especially like pre-Civil War or, you know, in the tumultuous times of the Civil War, always excites me. So yeah, this book looked really good. <clears throat> I think it was like $3. <laughs> yeah, $3. Um, okay, so these are the two Susan Howitch books I have. Um, so the first one is the one I, I bought initially, and this one is called Pen Marek by Susan Howitch. Um, so, I mean, this, this book has seen better days. I actually bought it online, um, from a site called Alibris. I don't know if you guys have heard of that site before. I don't know if I recommend yet because I mean, I only paid a dollar fifty for this book. So, okay, I get it. But I think they said the condition was good and there's like fair, good, very good and like new, you know? So I would rate this as fair because like it's falling apart. Um, I mean, yeah, like the, it's kind of whatever, but it's okay. So this book is a family saga and that's why I bought it because you guys know I love my family sagas. And this says, I mean the back, this is why I, I first fell for the cover of this book because holy cow, this like wrap around gorgeous setting. And then the back says, I was 10 years old when I first saw The Inheritance and 20 years old when I first saw Jenna Roslin but my reaction to both was identical. I wanted them. So it sounds like it's gonna be, you know, a, maybe a love story, a family saga, and it's set uh, around this castle, I believe, that's called Penmarek, this inheritance. So it sounds really good. I'm eager to read it. I mean, I don't know if I'll read it from this book because it also kind of smells a little funky. I don't know, but yeah, excited about that. And then the second Susan Howitch book is also a family saga. Um, I found this at my childhood bookstore. And this says, uh, Oxmoon, the rambling old mansion on a sprawling estate in Wales, is for generations the dream, the downfall, and the destiny of the wealthy Godwin family. They are entranced by tales of glittering parties where young lovers waltzed beneath the chandeliers as the orchestra played the Blue Danube Waltz. They are ensnared by the family legacy of madness, murder, and doomed romance. The disastrous consequences of 19th century Gwyneth Godwin's scandalous affair with sheep farmer Owen Bryn Davies. So yes, this sounds so up my alley. I want to read this ASAP. It sounds so good. A grand old mansion, a strange and wonderful family is what the front cover says. So yeah, sounds so good. I probably might read this before Pen Marek, honestly, um, because it just sounds so intriguing. And it's huge, and I love my tomes too, so yes, very exciting. This is the part of the video where I'm gonna show my recent historical romance buys. Um, so I'll first start off with this book here, Lavril Spencer's Morning Glory. And guys, this has a step back that I've never seen before, like this kind of setting, where it's just a family on a porch, the two little boys, and they're just looking endearing at each other. I love it. I think this is so precious. I would love to see more step backs with like a family vibe. I mean, we all love our clutches, our desperate, like, you know, passionate embraces, but also these, like what a breath of fresh air, right? So yeah, so I picked up this book. It's been on my, um, it's been on my radar for a while. It's pre-World War II. Um, and it's about a single mother and a father and, or a single mother and a man and it just sounds so good and also I think it's very very highly rated and it's one of those like classic historical romances so yes I definitely want to give it a shot okay the second book is Linda Howard's After the Night so there's no step back for this, but this is a book that is also very, very highly rated. And um, it's I think it's also just very popular. So it says, Dear reader of all my novels, After the Night remains one of my personal favorites. And Faith Devlin and Grey Ruyard are two of my favorite characters. Faith is strong, proud, and fearless. And Grey, well, he's just downright sexy. Faith's search for the truth about the devastating scandal surrounding her mother and Grey's Father blazes with intrigue. Add some sultry southern heat and you've got a real scorcher of a read. 
So I love like Southern romances um, and this sounds really good. So I'm excited about it. I really want to read it soon too. Okay, so the next one is also a very famous classic. I think a lot of people have probably read this. It's called Flowers from the Storm by Laura Kinsale. And is there a step back? No. I mean, there kind of is, you know, it's the one where it just has writing on it. I hate that. <laughs> but yeah, so this one, um, let's see. Uh, the Duke of Gerval was brilliant and dangerous, considered dissolute, reckless, and extravagant. He was transparently referred to as the D of J in Scandal Sheets. But sometimes the most womanizing rake hell can be irresistible, and even his most casual attentions fascinated the sheltered Maddie Timms. I think I got this too because it might be somewhat of an age gap. I know I was looking into like age gap historicals, and maybe this was one of them. But if you've read this, let me know. I'm, I'm super excited about it, and it's also really long. I mean, it's more than 500 pages, so I'm all about that. I love the long books. And it's really pretty too. I, I love this. Okay, so the last two are books that I bought online because I wanted uh, either the step back or I just couldn't find the book anywhere else. So the first book is A Kingdom of Dreams by Judith McNaught. Of course, a favorite here on booktube. A ton of people have read it. Um, I have not read it. I think... I'm playing around with the idea of doing a reading vlog for this. Let me know if you guys would be excited about that. Um, but yeah, this is a very classic, um, I believe it's medieval romance and the step back. This is why I bought this book because the step back is literally everything. Like, especially the thing that sold me on buying the step back when I saw it. I think at first I saw it on um, Jess from Peace Love Books channel. But the thing that sold me was the salt and pepper hair on him. Like he looks like he's Superman to me, like Clark Kent Superman vibes, especially with the little curl. Oh my gosh, I love it. And her hair too. It's just everything, it's just everything. So yeah, I'm very eager to read this. I mean, this book has kind of seen better days, but I didn't pay that much for it. So I, I mean, I think I maybe paid like four bucks for this book, so that's okay. But yeah, it's got like the yellow sprayed edges as well. and. Anyways, it's beautiful and it's seriously probably my favorite step back I've ever seen. So the last book is one that was going on online on eBay for like 20 bucks or more. I'm not even kidding. It's very hard to find. And I found it on this Alibra site that I just mentioned um, for I think $9. It's Always to Remember by Lorraine Heath. And the reason why I wanted to get this book is because it is one of those books that is referred to as a super classic Civil War historical romance. Um, and it features a virgin hero. And I think we all love those. Like virgin heroes are seriously some of my favorites. Yeah, so Me it's about Clay and Meg. And Clay is a returning veteran from the war he fought for the confederacy but he actually refused to pick up a gun so he was branded as a deserter and then he returns home and um is commissioned to make a sculpture in this very southern town commemorating the the fighters for the confederacy and um to meg warner clay's presence was a constant offense a betrayal of the cause for which her husband and brothers died so it sounds like it's going to just be one of those enemies to lovers, super sweet, um, hopefully slow burn romances. And I love Civil War, Civil War anything. Seriously, you guys will know that once you like start looking into um, either, you know, what I've read or what I want to read. I love Civil War romances. So this looks really good. There's no step back, but I mean, even just this beautiful cover is so cute. I love it. So yeah. So guys, like that is all of the books. I mean, seriously, I, I still can't be believe my luck with these. Like, I, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. <laughs> and I definitely will show more of these. I'm trying to like get the glare out, but I will definitely show more of these um, in my Instagram. And hopefully you guys are ex as excited as I am about them. And then obviously all these other books. 
But thanks again so much for watching, you guys. Seriously, I'm so excited that I've been so welcomed here and I just love all the friends I've made so far. So yes, thanks again for watching. Please like and comment. I reply to every single comment and I would love to see you guys um, in there and subscribe to my channel as well if you wanna see more from me. Thanks again, guys. Bye. Thank <music> you.